All right, we're rolling. Welcome to Senior Pablo's Terrifying Guitar Trip. <laughs> Well, I think when you're first starting out, the most important thing is to learn things that are that are easy enough that you can play them right away. So they're uh, so it keeps you playing, and uh, that's usually chords. You know, just learn like a, a D chord and uh, strumming it over and over again. You know, you know, it's like making real music, and uh, it's, it's pretty easy. And you don't even worry about playing leads right away or anything. And if you do, you know, keep them simple. Just do some, you know, bends. And that, uh, you'd be surprised even after you've been playing, you know, 10 or 20 years, sometimes that stuff's still the best, uh, best sound of stuff.
Billy Ray Cyrus might play this song. Hey, give me a quarter and tell me who's somebody who gives a shit. <laughs> And uh, once you get to play in a couple of years, you know, just make sure you find a drummer. That makes you better than anything. Is you find a drummer and just play all the time, you know, and sort of a real life thing. And it, uh, your ears start to go a little bit, but uh, it's a lot of fun. It makes you a much better musician. stars out there. Now it's time to tune. Here's an E! Here's an A! A lot of people ask me how I warm up my hands before I play. And I'm going to show you some licks that help me out a whole lot. This first one has, uh, it's mostly for the right hand picking lick. And I use sort of a twangy, twangy kind of guitar sound. <laughs> A lot of notes twice. I hit the A note twice, the G, and on down. And I put a C and a C sharp in the middle. So it all together it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 